Hey everybody, my name is Roberta, I'm an Italian-based food photographer. Welcome to this week's Create Your Light Challenge and welcome to my kitchen. So I am collaborating with Nikon to share with you a few tips on how to stay creative as a food photographer during this lockdown. So this is where I shoot basically every single day also for my clients but maybe you were used to shoot um, with food stylist, with prop stylist, maybe you were used to shoot at restaurants as well and right now you cannot do it because you cannot work with a team, um, you cannot shoot at restaurants because they are closed but still you have to find a way to keep shooting and to keep being creative, right? Um, so that's why I decided that today I'm going to choose just one ingredient from my pantry or from the fridge and I'm going to shoot a beautiful photo with it. And that's because it's pretty pointless in this time of our existence to go out and buy just two ingredients to shoot a photo. That's pointless. So let's do something beautiful with what we have already at home. Let's see what I can find. All right, so as you can see, I found the perfect subject in my pantry and I'm going to tell you in a few seconds why I think it's the perfect subject um, for my photo today. We are on the floor right now because I usually shoot my flat lays on the floor, but you can totally use a table if you want, if you have a lens that and a tripod that allows you to do that. Um, first of all, let me say that I'm currently shooting my video here with my Nikon D850 and my Nikon 50mm lens. Instead, today I'm going to use my Z6 and my 24 to 17mm lens to shoot my final photo. And that's because um, I do not know what my final image will look like still. I do not have a clear idea and my 24 to 70 millimeter lens is going to give me a sort of variety of um, focal lens. So I'm pretty sure that I will stay between 50 to 70 millimeter for my photo. Um, I rarely shoot with a wide focal length when shooting food photography but you can totally use uh, a wide focal length. It will include more props into your scene, of course. Today, I want to do a close-up photo, so that's why I'm going to stay with 50 to 70 millimeter. Now, I'm going to tell you why I chose chocolate as my subject today. As you can see, we have three kinds of chocolate. I added one in the meantime and I really was inspired by the shape. As you can see they have little nice cubes and also the colors because they have different shades of brown and also the texture because this one is Chocolato di Modica and Chocolato di, Modi di Modica has sugar crystals in it. So I'm really I really want to play with colors, texture and the shape today and also consistencies. So in terms of light, I am currently shooting with what I have. So I have some beautiful natural light and it's only diffused with my white curtains, the white curtains that I have in my kitchen. And that's what I'm going to use today. Alright, so in terms of settings that I'm going to use, of course I cannot give you numbers because it really depends on your scene, on um, the light that you are using, especially if you are using uh, artificial light, for example. These are definitely not okay, these settings that I'm going to use. Um, in terms of ISO, I usually stay within ISO 64 and ISO uh, 100. In this case, I'm going to use 250. Um, and then I adjust the aperture. In this case, I really want everything in focus. So I'm going to stay within f11 and f maybe 14 or 16. I'm going to see later. And then I adjust my um, shutter speed accordingly. I am using a tripod right now so that one second of shutter speed is not a problem for me. Of course that changes if you are shooting without a tripod so 
remember that. Um, and then also remember that right now I'm using my white curtains to diffuse my light. Look what happens if I remove my white curtains. I have more light. So of course, if I'm going to remove my white curtains, I'm going to adjust the light in the settings, um, the settings, sorry, accordingly. So it really depends on the light that you have in your scene. Right now I'm going to play with uh, my chocolate, I'm going to melt it, I'm going to grate it, and then I'm going to show you how I style my scene. All right, so while I was melting my chocolate a few minutes ago, I had an idea for my photos. So I want to really keep it minimal, let's say, and sort of abstract. So that's why I'm not going to use any other props in my scene. I only want to keep this cutting board underneath my tray here, just because if I change my mind and I want to use a wider focal length, at least I have my cutting board which is brown and matches the color of the chocolate. In terms of composition instead, I don't know if you can notice, but I placed my um, chocolate cubes here following the rule of thirds, almost, and I'm going to place some grated chocolate using the diagonal lines here. So even though it's an abstract photo, you can still play with compositional rules. All right, so my Z6 is on the tripod. I'm using, just a reminder, um, my 24 to 70 millimeters lens and I'm using a 70 millimeter focal length right now as you can see this is the maximum and I'm using natural light with my white curtains diffusing the light I am not using any black or white board to modify my shadows so these are the shadows that I have I'm not modifying them um, right now I'm going to take a photo and then I'm going to decide if I want to remove the white curtains that are diffusing my light. So let's try and see what it looks like. All right, I like the shadows here. Maybe I want a little bit more light. So I'm going to adjust the settings here also. And again, I'm not using any black or white board to uh, modify my lens, my shadows. So look, this is without curtains, so without diffusing the light. This is diffusing the light. So this is without, this is with curtains. This is diffused, this is not diffused. Now, if you want to have even more fun, in my opinion, you can see what happens um, if, you if you add a black or a white board here, just to lighten or darken your shadows. So let's try with the white board. I'm going to use a white board here to lighten my shadows. Let's see. I'm going to use the same settings actually. Looks cute. Okay. And now I want to recreate a darker scene. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place some black, um, some black cards here. I hope you can see it. So right now I'm watching the, um, the screen here just to make an idea of what I'm doing with my light, but you can really play endlessly with your light. So I'm going to adjust. Another mood completely. All right, so I'm going to edit my photos now. I'm going to see which one I like more.
Okay, so we are ready to edit our photos. I'm going to very shortly show you how I usually edit my photos. So this one is um, the photo that we took with diffused light. This one instead is not diffused. This one was using a whiteboard here just to lighten our, our shadows. And the last one was using two black cards here to give uh, another mood, let's say. So the first thing that I usually do is I apply my preset, which already gives me a nice editing. And this preset in particular um, is going to adjust a little bit the curve here, as you can see, and a little bit my highlights, shadows, whites, black, texture, and clarity. But in this case, I really focus on maybe I'm going to adjust a little bit the exposure and then I want to give a little bit of vignette here. Now also I want to adjust my orange saturation. As you can see here, the orange is really <laughs> the main color. So I'm going to see if I like a more saturated orange or less saturated. And I'm also going to adjust maybe the luminance. You know what? I'm also going to add a little bit of clarity and also I'm going to adjust the texture because if you remember, I really wanted to play with texture. Here, as you can see, we have a lot of texture. This was the Chocolato di Modica. And I'm going to add a bit more of Vignette. Okay, so now I'm going to copy and paste my settings, the same settings on my other photos. I'm going to see what happens. Anyway, I think my favorite is the first one using um, diffuse light. Okay, so I really hope you had fun shooting with me today. Now go and choose one ingredient from your pantry, from your fridge, and just have fun. Just play with your light. Let the light inspire you. And remember to share your photos using the hashtag creatorlight.